Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about cold coverage so what it is you know what you should actually aim for and how to see it within an Exco project that you're working in so what is coverage well when you actually write tests you want to ensure that most of your code is unit tested and this is where cold coverage comes in so cold coverage is essentially a metric that you can use to understand how much of your code is actually tested with a percentage so you may be wondering like what percentage what you actually want to you know aim for so you may be thinking automatically that i want to aim for you know 100 percent and i'd actually argue that this may not be the best approach and you may be thinking you know why well what does 100 percent actually mean in the grand scheme of things well when you actually think about cold coverage something that you want to keep in mind is how much of your test cases like we discussed in our previous video are actually tested that's what's important. So making sure that every single file has 100% cold coverage isn't what you should be aiming for. You should be aiming for that all of your test cases are covered within your application's requirements and specifically your core business logic. So when you're aiming for you know a good range for cold coverage, in my opinion, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you can ask yourself like you know can you really aim for 100%? So you want to aim for 70 to 80 percent for business logic in my opinion so at a bare minimum you want your you know application to basically be hitting you know at a minimum around 70 to 80 percent you could probably even go as low as maybe you know 55 maybe but 70 to 80 is an, an all right you know number and then for your core business logic you want to make sure that at least minimum that this is you know 100 you know percent so how can we actually you know look at cold coverage within an Exco project? Well, let's jump into an Exco project and see how to look at this and actually break it down. Cool. So if you go into your actual Exco project, if you just click on this option to select one of your schemes, what you want to do is select your main scheme here and then choose edit scheme. So after doing this, what you then want to do is go to your test option here and then click on options and you should see that you have this option here called cold coverage so if i tap on this you'll see here that you have an option for all targets which will just basically you know show your cold coverage for every target within your app but we don't want it to be for all our targets we only want it to be for our main target so let's choose some targets and now i already have this pre-filled but if you don't have this it will look like this so if you hit the plus button you can then select what target you want your cold coverage to basically be handled with. So if I just select this one, which is our main target here and click add, we now will have the paid capability to basically see the cold coverage for this target here. So I'm going to hit close. And there's two ways of actually us generating cold coverage. The first way is by hitting command U on our keyboard or alternatively what we can do is just run product and then test like so. So this will run all the tests within our project. So if we just go to our show test navigator, or if we just go to our build, you know, here, you'll see here that you now have an option called coverage. So this is going to give you a report of all the coverage once this finishes. So let's just let the UI test finish and then we'll see the report that gets generated for us. Cool, and as you can see here, when we actually do our coverage, and our report now tells us that our target has an overall cold coverage of 92.8%, which is pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> so we also have here executable lines here. So these are all the lines within our code, well, within our project, I should say. So if we actually open up this target, what you'll now see is a breakdown of all of the you know files and each one of their coverage. So you'll see here that we actually have, uh, for, so you'll see here, for example, with our static JSON mapper, we actually have 100%, you know, cold coverage. So if we actually click into this file just by clicking on this arrow. You'll see here on the right hand side, you'll have like this panel that will give you a breakdown of all the file, well, all the parts of your function that have been unit tested. So everything here has pretty much been unit tested, all our logic here, like so. If you actually go back and you expand the, you know, well, you actually expand this you'll actually get a breakdown of each function and how much of it has been you know you know unit tested so let's just look at one of our view models here and this view model our people view model has 89.2 percent and if we just expand and open this you'll see here that we have all these functions and it tells us which ones have 100 percent cold coverage here so our properties 
but you'll see here that on this our fetch next set of users it actually only has 75 percent you know cold coverage which is still decent but let's click into it and see what it's missing so if you click into it you'll see that you actually have this red block here and this is telling you the code that hasn't been unit tested so in our fetch next set of users we're not actually unit testing failures with our pagination so what you could do in as a challenge is you could actually write unit test to see how to you know handle this case here to actually help improve the actual code coverage within this file and the same here within our fetch users we're not actually having any you know tests as well for when we want to throw a system error that isn't a networking manager error so that's something you could do as well so let's just go back and as you can see we go into our people view you'll see here if I click into it that a lot of this is covered by our UI test so you'll see here there's some parts we don't unit test so for example our retry isn't you know doesn't have a UI test for it but you can see here that this is good for basically seeing like which areas of your application you're actually you know missing out and essentially which parts of your application you're essentially missing tests for so this is a really good breakdown and something that you should definitely check out and see which parts are missing tests and you could improve cool so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed this video i'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you in a bit deuces